The Google Pixel Fold has Android 15, and I'm gonna show you a bunch of the new features that I love about Android 15. And some of this stuff was on Android 14, but I just got it now with my Android 15 update. So let's jump into this. The first thing that's popping in my mind is circle search. This allows you to search for anything at any time on any screen. So for instance, if I wanna look up Oklahoma commission issues, I'll press and hold the home button down here and then circle it and it's gonna bring up anything that has to do with that and give me information. And I can do that again from literally any screen. So I've got a picture here of some Mexican food. I'll press and hold the home button, circle it, see if it can figure out what it is. It's looking for it and it kind of tells me exactly what I've got here. Some french fries, which is exactly it is, carne asada fries here. So you can literally do this anywhere on any screen, any app, and it'll search for information. The next one is called continue using apps on Fold. So if I have, for instance, so let's just say I have this open and then I close it and fold it, I can swipe up and I'm still on that same screen. There's a setting for this and you can turn it on or off. So just go into settings, next go into display and then you're gonna see one that says continue using apps on fold. Swipe up to continue. You can have it set to always, always front display turns on when you fold your device or you can have swipe up to continue your fold your phone and swipe up on the front display to continue using the app or wait a few seconds for the phone to lock or you can set it to never i have it set obviously to the middle one but never would mean that the front display locks when you fold your device so you have options there now pretty cool and um, at least they're giving us the option that when you close it you can still use that app or not use that app when you fold this is a minor one but when you swipe down and you just tap on bluetooth and now it brings up this little tile that you can interact with, um, connect to your Bluetooth buds or see all or pair a new device. Again, it's fairly minor, but at least it gives you this little pop-up tile. The next one has to do with screen record. So if you bring up your screen record options here, you can record just the single app that you're looking at, or you can do the entire screen. So for instance, if I'm going to screen record a device, I'm gonna hit screen record and it's asking me to share or record an app because that's exactly what I chose. So maybe I just want to do the Google Play Store and it's going to screen record this and you can see it is it's now recording in the top. So I'm using this and if I get out of it, it's not going to it's not going to record what I was doing in, on that other display. So I'm done, let's just show it, say, and I'm going to stop it. And when we open it to view it, and here it is recording. You can see it's playing. When I leave the app, it's not gonna show that. It's only gonna screen record this, which is actually pretty nice if you're trying to show someone how to do something, it won't get confused. But at the same time, if you do wanna screen record and you want it to do everything, you can just do it like this, hit record, and no matter what you're doing, it will screen record everything if you go into different apps or not. So we went into a few different apps there. Let's just pause that, stop it. And as you can see, it's playing here. It's going through the different apps that I was in. It didn't stop it or anything. It went through everything that I was in. This next one is a take on what iPhone has. iPhone has a thing called offloading apps and it basically gets rid of the app, but it keeps your data for the app so that when you re-download it, everything's there. But you can save space by offloading the app. This one's called app archiving. So we'll just choose an app at random here. Uh, let's choose the Fiverr app. I'm gonna press and hold on it go into app info and then you can see archive if I hit archive it is archiving the app and again what that does is it gets rid of the app you can see it's there I can remove it and if I want so again you're in safe space because it basically deletes the app but it keeps any of the data that you have for the app and if you want it back all you got to do is tap it and it's gonna re-download the app for you next go into settings go into apps and then you're gonna go into default apps. One of the new things here is you can change your wallet app. If you don't wanna use Google Wallet and there's another wallet app you wanna use, you now can really easily by just clicking on the radio button next to it if you have a wallet app, a different one anyway. The last one is also in settings. If you come into the search here and type cellular network security, you have these two new options. They're pretty interesting actually. The first one 
is the ability to receive notifications in case the cell network you are connected to is insecure due to the lack of encryption or if the cell network records your unique device or SIM identifiers, that being the IMEI and the IMSI. Or you can also uh, turn on require encryption. Encryption is more secure, but you might not be able to connect in some locations for emergency calls. Encryption is never required. So you might want to turn that off, keep that off, but otherwise you can make sure that this only works over encrypted networks. There you guys go. Some cool stuff to see uh, for the Android 15 update on the Pixel Fold. More stuff will be coming such as private space, among other things as well. So when it comes out, I will do a video on that as well. Thanks for watching. If you want to pick up this phone, it's linked down below. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road. Peace.